What you do is you should become passionate about your gift. Quit tripping yourself out. You all have one. God gave all of you a gift at birth. When he created you, he put it inside of you. It, you don't got to go discover it nowhere. It's E-R-E-R gave it to you. It's the thing you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your God-given gift. You just got to recognize what your gift is. That's all it is. You messed up. Now what? What do you do now? Where do you go from here? Is there, is there a tomorrow? Is there a tomorrow? Well, yes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay some things out for you. All right? If you've messed up, the very first step, the very first thing that you've got to do is you've got to stop. Whatever it is you did, don't do it no more. Identify your God-given gift and go pursue that. Then I'll tell you what changed my whole life when I finally discovered it's all risky. The minute you were born, it got risky. If you think trying is risky, wait till they hand you the bill for not trying. If you think investing is risky, wait till you get the tab for not investing. See, it's all risky. Getting married is risky. Having children is risky. Going into business is risky. Investing your money is risky. It's all risky. I'll tell you how risky life is. You're not going to get out alive. People are telling you to set goals, and I get it. That's a great mindset to have. But I'm gonna tell you something, that's a dangerous mindset to have. Because a lot of us, we set our goals based upon our experiences, not off of our capabilities. And what I mean by that, a lot of times when we set goals, we limit ourselves. Goals are something that you reach. Let's be real, how many times have you reached a goal and then you got complacent? How many times have you reached a goal and then you fell off? Because you got comfortable, because in your mind, your mind says, I've arrived. And the truth is about life, the ones that really meet the greatest version of themselves, the ones that really live the greatest life, they never arrive. They understand life is not about arriving at a destination. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks, nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Person who has purpose in their life, they have something to go for, some meaning. One writer described it for some people, it becomes a magnificent obsession. But it has to be something that does something to us, something that pulls us, especially into the future. You know, there are many influences on us. One is the influence of the past. Some people are always pulled back, back, back by the past. Some people are always pulled aside by the distractions, the distractions. But here's what's powerful. If you have a list of high purpose in your life, it pulls you toward the future. And the more powerful the purpose is, the stronger it pulls. See, we want to grow, but we want to stay liked by everybody. I was willing to be my own rescue at the risk of your approval. But most of us aren't like that, but we want to be liked. Well, I woke up and I like myself today, so your like is extra. My, my job is to like me first. I was willing to say every day, Lisa, you like you? Lisa, are you proud of you? Lisa, are you playing full out? Every day before I checked in with anybody else. Everything that's happening to you is God is processing. Every difficult moment you're having, he just processing it. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. And if you need to be tough when you get to where you're going, then he gonna toughen you. He gonna let you have some trials come your way that's gonna have to produce that in you.
it's a big difference between a hard worker and somebody that works hard. Right? Most cats are somebody that works hard. If the situation and the circumstance is what they want it to be, they're going to come out and they're going to act accordingly and they're going to give you everything they got. But a hard worker? Regardless of situation, regardless of circumstance, regardless of what happens, I'm going to show up and I'm going to give everything I got to it because I'm working for something that's totally different. Right? The question becomes this. Can you be committed to the process of what you're doing without being emotionally attached to the results of what you're doing? In other words, if you don't get what you thought you was going to get, will you still be the same individual? It's not that life is better than you think. Life is as harsh as you think. It might even be worse, but you are way tougher than you think if you turn around and confront it. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. What's the plan? And when you're trying to do something that you're truly passionate about, there is no plan B. When it doesn't make sense, logical sense to go on, that's when you gotta use your emotion. That's when you gotta use that anger, that frustration, that fear to push yourself harder, to push yourself to say, I don't stop. You gotta override that emotion with the concrete logic and willpower. You fight the weak emotions with the power of logic, and you fight the weakness of logic with the power of emotions. Life is suffering. This is true. And it's worse than that, because it's suffering contaminated by malevolence. That's the baseline. But the optimistic part is that you are so damn tough, you can actually not only deal with that, you can improve it.